what makes a good ESL teacher? If I read one more article that says passion, I'm deleting my internet. Today I will share 10 qualities that great ESL teachers possess, except for passion. Number one, communicate clearly. Good teachers speak at a slower pace so that their students can follow. They pronounce words clearly and refrain from using regional slang. You are the primary source of English in the classroom. It is your responsibility to be understood in class. So speak at your student's level and at a pace that makes them feel like English isn't that hard. Use vocabulary that they understand. About 90% should be common words while they are getting comfortable with the language and 10% new vocabulary to broaden their lexicons. Number two, get students talking. Ask questions and do activities that let them interact with the language. That is your most important job. Motivate your students to speak, ask them questions and give them enough time to answer. You can even scaffold the lesson by writing vocabulary on the board first to help them construct sentences. Play games and praise them when they come out of their shells. Language isn't practiced in the head. Get them talking. Good ESL teacher quality number three. Control the classroom. This is one of the scariest for new teachers. Managing difficult classes. The best way to do that is to keep students engaged and have structured lessons so that students know exactly what is expected of them. Have rules and procedures to keep order, but focus on leading the class in an engaging way. If they have fun, they won't have time to cause trouble. Number four, build relationships. When students like you, they will open up and give you their best. Before class starts or when they enter the room, ask them questions about their lives. How are they doing? What was their weekends like? Anything special happening that week? Get to know them by showing you care. Do that and they will move mountains for you. Quality number five, use collaborative and fun activities. For younger learners, use games and songs and chants, flashcard games, board races, phonics hoops, fly swats. At that early age, you want to make learning fun by using these activities, especially for young phonics learners. For older students, you should let them interact with friends. Use surveys, role plays and other team-based games. By making class fun and interactive, students will learn better and teaching will be a breeze. Number six, preparation. Prepare for each lesson and have backup plans for when you get a last minute class. Be sure of your schedule and have your week planned out. If possible, go over the grammar points that you will teach in each lesson and have examples ready to explain to the students. An organized teacher is a good teacher. So have all your paperwork in pristine condition. Good ESL teacher quality number seven. Understand that you are just the medium. You aren't the only source of language. Many teachers think that their word is law. Be modest. You only have your own experience. So find other sources and expose your students to different ideas. I've seen so many teachers only use topics that they are interested in which deprives your students from experiencing the bountiful knowledge that exists in the world. Good teachers are constantly searching for new ideas and content. They open themselves up to other perspectives and cultures and then explain it clearly to their students. Number eight, understand your students' culture. There are certain words and linguistic issues that are more prominent in different countries. In Korea, for example, students find it difficult to add an S to he walks to school or calling girls he instead of she. Also, respect your students' culture. Understand how to interact with them accordingly. If possible, let them share it in class and integrate their history and views into your lessons. Learning through experiences will internalize English and make it part of their lives. Quality number nine, be a storyteller. The best teachers are able to weave interesting stories into their classes. It could be from their own lives or fictional tales. 
Why is this important? Listening is the first skill that language learners practice. If you can tell interesting stories that captivate your audience, students will learn and enjoy class even more. We have to remember that stories are also the original way of learning and preserving culture. Within stories, words, grammar and themes are transferred to learners in a compelling way. And finally, number 10, enthusiasm. You think I've saved the best for last? You're wrong, gotcha. Enthusiasm is a cheap alternative to passion. You remember at the start I claimed that passion is a horrible answer? But I've tricked you and I placed it in as the final quality that great ESL teachers possess. You're going to do the same thing over and over again. Stuck in a classroom with many students that are unmotivated, doing the same activities, same conversations, facing the same problems every single day. The only way you can make this kind of life bearable is to have enthusiasm that motivates you to continue being an educator. It could be a passion for the language, a passion for the students that you teach, or a passion for the process of teaching someone something new and watching them succeed. Whatever your reason is, make sure to remind yourself about it every day to be the best ESL teacher for your students. Okay, everyone, those are my 10 qualities of a good ESL teacher. Watch the video here to help you if you would like even more teaching tips and ideas. I'm Eric from Etiquette, and I'll see you next time.